All right. I have some bad news. Japan has been infiltrated by a furry. I'm sure it is not the first. I'm sure it is not the last. But there is indeed a furry right now in Japan. And I think we need to call Godzilla. How do we call Godzilla again? Do you guys remember that, that TV show, the kids TV show, Godzilla TV show, where you had like Kid Godzilla, right? And I think they had some sort of like whistle or some shit. <laughs> and like, <laughs> you know, and Godzilla would pop out of the ocean. Right, start blowing your whistle. Now, in case anyone doesn't know who uh, the Salty Locks is standing with, this is Daigo. Now, Daigo became extraordinarily famous because of this clip you see right here below against Justin, right? And apparently, uh, from what I read, Daigo didn't even go on to win anything. It was just that this moment in EVO was such a defining just factor that it just took over everything else. Like, I don't even know who won EVO that time. Who cares? What mattered is that he sat there and literally parried Chun Li Super. It was just absolutely psychotic. You know, I don't care for esports at all, but you have to admit that this is pretty crazy, right? So, you know, flash forward to this, and we uh, and we have uh, good old Mr. Mr. Stinky here. Who, uh, who obviously, and I, and I, and he does. Like, I mean, let's let's be honest here. If you are going to wear a fur suit, it's going to be on the nose, right? Uh, the first comment that we see here, though, is like, not every day you see two goats in the wild. <laughs> 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 I see one goat and I see a furry. Okay. And scrolling through, you know, get other comments. I mean, let's let's be honest. I mean, this this this, this dude, he looks like he thinks. Like, right? you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, when, when as soon as you as soon as you discover that somebody is into that sort of lifestyle, like the the wearing the fur suit and all that sort of stuff. Man, it's just, I mean, like, listen, I live in a pretty hot country, right? So you get to come face to face with a lot of stinky people out there. And then you're going to make it worse. You're going to make it worse, dude, by doing that. Now, the thing that really stood out for me, right, was um, something that was actually uh, on the side of my, my page, or my ex page, right? Which is the profiles of these two people okay and this is what i wanted to sort of share because like you've got two of these guys who have been heavily involved in esports obviously daigo like daigo is what 42 i think now something like that you know so he's joined the naughty 40s uh i've been in here for six years it's pretty good right and like this was on the, so I'm watching, like I've got it open like on my PC, right? And onto the side, it's got relevant people. And it has Salty Locks, and then it has Daigo, right? See the differences between the layout of the two profiles. Yeah? If we start with Daigo first, he says he's a pro gamer, which he is. I mean, this is what he does, right? He's got his app, he's got his sponsors, and of course, he's also his stream. That's it, right? Cupcake here is basically like, so uh, he's like, oh, I'm I'm black. <laughs> I just, I so, I had to play it again. I'm, I'm sorry, my bad. All right? So, so, so he's black, right? In case we couldn't tell. Congratulations, you're not blind, right? Your mirrors work in your house. He's non-binary. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't think there's any sort of... Now, listen, maybe his glasses don't work, actually, because like I look at this man and I go, you're a man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not blind. If you come up to me and say, oh, I feel... Uh, 
feel like a woman today, so that's great. Where? <laughs> right. Then he adds in furry, queer. You know, because this is this is the problem with the West and like sort of these sort of like movements out there. Listen, I don't care when you, where you want to put your pecker. I have my beliefs, you have your beliefs, right? If you would like to, uh, you know, you know what I'm saying? Just, you know, get a chocolate end for your stick, that's on you, right? However, when you've got crap like this, where, you know, they take, they, they have been brainwashed and conditioned into thinking that, this is their entire identity. Who you have sex with is your entire identity. What color your skin is your entire identity, right? And this was the acceptance speech where he sat here, or sorry, stood here, after sounding like he was having a, you know, some sort of special attack. He's sitting there going, oh, I'm black, I'm gay, he's a furry, you know, and then says everything, because uh, like the translation isn't perfect, but like he actually says it in voice. Uh, it's not everything on the public in hate. It actually says everything Republican hates, like Republicans hate, which is basically like, if you will, the cons more conservative side in America, right? We don't hate gay people. We don't hate furries, right? This is the problem that we find when it comes to, um, you know, let's get back to something decent looking, right? This is. This is the problem that we find with these sorts of people, right? And there are a lot of social justice warriors. I've come across across quite a few of them myself, right? After speaking to these people and the way that they behave, they carry on and continue to push the same sort of cancel culture that they love to do, right? They make up lies, they push false narratives, and they make everything that is stuff that they, for the most part, can't help, not the, the gay fairy stuff, but the other stuff, like being black or whatever, they make everything about their identity, right? Because that way, when you criticize, you go, well, I don't agree with furry lifestyle. I mean, we got a, we got a, there was an article that came out uh, a few days ago, a week ago, about some school in the US that is protesting. These, these kids are protesting the furries being allowed at the school because the furries are running around and scratching and biting people. Take a good look, right? That's your NRS champion, right there on the right. That's your champion. This is the sort of dipshit that would be thinking that that's acceptable behavior, that that's okay. To run around in schools and do this to other kids to disrupt their learning. So when I saw this over on the side, because I obviously follow Daigo, right? It is such a stark contrast between the two because you know, one of them's going, yeah, this is what I do. I'm just a programmer. This is, you know, this is what I do. The other one's like, oh, I'm black. Congratulations, right? Non-binary. Oh, anyway, gone through that. Furry and queer. Don't test me, you'll lose. Who I mean, gives a shit about losing in a video game? <laughs> I've talked about this before. Right? Professional fighting game player. Oh, so fine. So finally, finally, we get to the meat and potatoes of, of like your presence on here, right? This right here is indoctrination, identity politics 101, right? Label everything that you are, so that way, if you have any issue with any of it, not that anyone has an issue with black people, right? But you 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 can then instantly go into defensive mode. Oh, you're just attacking this. You're just attacking that, right? How dare you be so hateful? Right? Not to mention the fact that, like, you know, if we're going to be honest here, Japan is quite, you know, they're very, very protective of their own people. They're very protective of their own country. And they are very much against, you know, identity politics on the whole. They're a very conservative country, you know. So they don't let that sort of stuff fester and infect their country because they obviously, like other countries that aren't Western nations right now, are looking at the West and going, wow, 
Where's your testicles gone? Anyway, I, I just want to talk about it. Anyway, catch you next time.